the fifth stop on the Wiesman World Cup for May bobsleigh tour. They move to the track in Sauerland, Frankfurt, Germany. Here's Latvia number one, Oscar Melbardis in the first run. One of the favorites in the competition. That's the best start time, but he crashes the curve nine, just like World Cup leader Steve Holcomb did yesterday. And Holcomb was out of the competition in the second run, but Melbardis would not make the second run. Now to the medalists. Here comes Thomas Forschutz of Germany. Had not medaled yet this year. He'd won both the two in the four man competition here in 2011. Just outside the medals yesterday in two men. And he bests the Canadians. He's the leader, but there's three sleds yet to go. Next up, Team Alexander Zubka. Zubka won this event last year. He won a bronze medal yesterday in the four man. He won a bronze medal the day before in the two man. And looked like he was secured another bronze medal, but on the bottom part of the track, didn't have the speed the four shits had. Pierre Luters, the coach, can't believe it, and Zubka could only settle for fourth place on this day. Two more sleds to go. A young German pilot, Friedrich, medal in the four-man the day before, and on this day, this young world champion two-man bobsled, Francisco Friedrich shows he's got some up-and-coming talent. Coach Christoph Langen. Cheers on, he guarantees himself at least a silver medal. Now it's Max Art. Max Art, another young German pilot. Doesn't get the great start, but his drive down the track is superior. For the second day in a row, he has the best speeds on the bottom part of this Winterberg track and in front of a large German crowd, he walks away with two consecutive gold medals, but the Germans celebrate a one, two, three, sweet in four-man bobsled competition in Winterberg, Germany. The Russians are fourth, but it's Max Art two days in a row. And with that, Max Art also takes over the World Cup lead this weekend. He's in front of Zubkov and Steve Holcomb for FIBT Television. From Winterberg, I'm John Moore.